I've heard a lot of golf explained. I've never heard this interesting take on it. But can you take us through that two thirds rule and what it means? I've gotten to a pretty good level of golf and I've been around a lot of great golfers and I still have never seen someone do everything perfectly and shoot a great score. And what I mean by that is I divide the game up into three phases for simplicity, tee shots, approach shots, and anything that's incurring inside of a hundred yards. So that could be obviously wedges and putting. I don't think I've ever, I've seen people shoot 63s, 64s. I shot a couple of 64s the other year. I've never seen anyone do all three phases of the game above average, meaning they're firing on all cylinders. The best I've seen is two out of three going really well and then managing the other part that was kind of like not as great. Um, so last year, I I shot a 64 at my home course, which is St. George's on Long Island. And I didn't drive it that well to be quite honest with you i just was my irons were so on and i just i had great proximity to the hole i made a ton of putts but if i was being honest with you i wasn't really hitting my driver squarely on the face i just kind of managed my driver um i've had other rounds where i striped my driver and you know i couldn't make a putt but i still put up a good score so the point of the two-thirds rule is let's alleviate the the expectation that you're going to go out on the golf course and everything's going to feel comfortable because it will not at minimum one part of your game is going to be a struggle and i believe you any a player of any level can shoot their best scores when two out of three of those parts of the game are going very well and the other one's kind of a struggle but more importantly when we shift to like one out of three days where like two parts of your game are a struggle that's where i think like that's where i try and give people all the coaching tools picking smart targets you know grit uh, routines, like all the things I discuss in the book to help everyone manage their game when things aren't going well. I think the one out of three days are the most typical. And my real goal for everyone is not to eliminate, I hate the word eliminate in golf. I want to mitigate or lessen the zero out of three days where you just kind of like give up and you just kind of throw in the towel and nothing's going right. And, and it's just a train wreck. So I think most quote unquote good or okay golf can be played in that one out of three to two out of three zone and just forget about stepping on the course and saying like, well, everything's going to go great. And the second I hit a drive out of bounds or I chunk a chip or a three putt, you're like, oh, here we go again. And then that's where, you know, that, that negative mental loop starts and we really start to struggle. So if I can alleviate that mental burden that a lot of golfers step on the course with, like that's the messages I get. I'm like, your book has helped like remove that burden. I'm more comfortable with myself. I'm more forgiving of myself when I hit these shots because I know they're coming and it's not a surprise to me anymore. I'm not gonna let them get me down. So yeah, that that is, that's the two thirds rule in a nutshell. It's like, you just don't need to be firing on all cylinders to play your best golf.